took her leg off. Oh my god. Shark! Shark! Sweat. Top 5 scary shark attack videos that will make you jump and scream which were caught on camera. Hello and welcome to Scary Top 10 TV. If you're into the strange, scary and paranormal, make sure you hit the subscribe button as we have loads more content headed your way. If you're a subscriber, thank you so so much for coming back. And now let's jump into this video. Be sure to follow us on our social media. And if you feel so inclined, help support the channel by donating to the PayPal link in the description. While filming a music video for their upcoming single in 2013, the YouTube channel Brad Coda has a rather unexpected, chilling close encounter at El Porto Beach in Manhattan. It appears they had an eager spectator in a great white shark that was seen in the immediate A young lady goes shark cage diving in this unknown location. Naturally, some curious sharks come close to the cage to investigate. Although it's unclear how this happens, one of the creatures comes a bit too close for comfort with some bloody results. However this has happened, our protagonist doesn't seem too eager to go back in the water as she's being tended to. The next encounter was at Manly Rock, Sydney Harbour, Australia. A man who could be the YouTube channel owner is documenting an excursion with friends on his GoPro cam. Manly Rock is a jump rock situated along the Sydney Harbour and with dark sea water plus minus 100 feet below, it makes the perfect mini cliff diving spot. The camera holder braces himself and eventually takes the jump. Not long after he hits the water, his friends can be heard shouting shark above him. He immediately scans his surroundings and tries to confirm the horror being witnessed from above him. Then he looks under the water. Not many people can say they've walked away unharmed from an unexpected, unplanned encounter with a shark. No, not many people. Except professional Australian surfer Mick Fanning. Mick had a huge scare as the only thing that stood between him and a bloody end in the deep was his surfboard as he was attacked by a shark during the 2015 World Surf League Championships at the Jeffreys Bay Open in South Africa. Mick can be seen in the video 
probably being watched by thousands of people waiting to catch his next wave or swims in any ocean again. We don't blame you, Mick. Great white sharks are rarely seen in the middle of the ocean as they prefer to hunt in shallow waters for easy pickings. In this next clip, things go from calm to terrifying for two women enjoying a nice dip in the drink. Christine and fellow shipmate Heather Pearson are having a swim when that all too familiar dorsal fin is spotted. Christine manages to swim to a nearby inflatable boat. Heather, however, doesn't have it so easy. A pole was extended out from a boat in an attempt to let Heather hang on and be pulled to the boat. Unfortunately, the Great White wasn't in a forgiving mood that day. As Heather puts everything she has into swimming for the pole, the shark gets to her first and pulls her under. In a nearly impossible feat, Heather manages to resurface, battling to free herself from the shark and be pulled into the boat. Christine makes it to the back of a small inflatable boat, but fellow shipmate Heather Pearson is one stroke behind her and the killer shark is closing in. When I saw the shark going after Heather, it looked just terrifying. Crew members in a small boat extend a wood pole to Heather. She grabs hold, but it's too late. They pulled her in using a stick. The shark apparently comes up from underneath her and grabs her leg and literally pulls her down underneath the water. It's a moment of sheer terror. A bloody tug of war begins between the allegedly 15 foot beast and the desperate boat passengers. Ultimately, they manage to free Heather from the jaws of death. They're over the side of the small boat, trying not to let go of her, and she is beneath them, almost face up, as the shark is pulling her under. One last desperate pull, and suddenly, Heather comes free. She bobs up. They pull her fairly easily into the small boat. And then, the terrifying realization. However, in the end, there's no celebration, no victory song. For while Heather has hung on to her life, the monster had not left empty-handed. Heather is not whole. She took her leg off. Oh my God. Click on this next video for more content similar to what you've just seen. Subscribe and click the bell icon to be the first to check out our new videos. Be sure to follow our social media and keep up to date on upcoming content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.